you know, I guess for you it's a little bit different than other people. You know, they they play, they want to take some time away. You want to get back, you know, back in shape, get ready for next season. For sure. I think that's uh, the biggest thing is just trying to get back as quickly as possible. I've had this whole year, so, you know, for me personally, it's just about moving forward and just trying to get better for next season. How do you envision you and Ben together in the backcourt? You know, Brett's talking about he really wants him to be the point guard. You know, you more of a combo. But your, your job is going to be knock down threes and also defending the other team's point guards. I, I envision it's going well. Um, I think uh, it's going to take time, you know, considering the fact that Ben and I both haven't played this year. But I think once it starts to click, it'll, it'll, it'll be a good thing. And, uh, you know, with everybody else coming in as well, with Joel, Dario, um, everybody's coming back. I think it's going to be something special next year. What did you think about those guys, Jared? Like you, the first time seeing them, you saw Joel for a little bit, Dario the whole season. Guys you didn't know that eventually you're going to be integrated with. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about those guys? What did you see? Uh, well, I think, I, you know, I've said this before, Joel, you can, we can talk about all day how you know special he is. Um, Dario, I think from the beginning of the season to the end, you saw just improvement and he got better and better and better to the point now where he's, you know, rookie of the year. And uh, I think just overall, all of our guys from Timmy to, like I said, Dario to uh, TJ, uh, Nick, everybody got better this year. And uh, that's something that we can take away from this as being positive and moving forward with that. What kind of so chemistry have you already built with Ben? I spent a lot of time with them the last couple of months as I've been traveling with the team. Um, you know, it's just learning him as a person and as a player and just being around him, I think, is uh, the biggest thing that we've done. And I don't know how much basketball chemistry so much we've made yet because we haven't played together. So I think it's going to take time. And over the summer while we're here working out, I think uh, that'll definitely help. Fans always awesome. want to speculate out with this team because it's been a hard few years. So. Mm -hmm. If you're healthy, if Ben's healthy, Joel, all those guys, if you have all the pieces that are supposed to be here, where do you see this team next year? What, what, what do you hmm. think it could be? I don't, I don't want to put an expectation or, or a prediction, but I think we'll be good. I think we'll be fighting every day. And uh, I think we'll be, uh, hopefully this won't be the last day next year. Jared, what are the next steps for you in terms of your rehab? I have a month of just basketball stuff, and uh, I can lift now. So all of that, I just can't play yet pretty much. It's uh, no contact so far uh, for the next month. And then after that, I'll be cleared. Jared, what was the dynamic between you and Ben? Was he asking you questions about basketball stuff as it unfolded in front of him? Did you watch their film together? What, what, what was the degree of your inter interaction? How did you? We spent a lot of time together. Um, he would ask me questions about basketball. Um, we didn't watch a lot of film together. We watched the games together, um, but it's just, just t we just spoke. We had, a, like I said, we spent a lot of time together for the, for those couple of months. So we were able to talk a lot about not only basketball, uh, life things, and just got to get to know each other really. Will your off-season um, program or regimen change at all, given the amount of time you miss? Like, will you spend more time doing some live stuff, working on your shot, or anything that you change this year? Um, well, I usually wouldn't work out the first day of uh, summer, but now that I've had the last six months off, I'm pr starting pretty early for, you know, what I usually do, so that's about it. He's 20, going to be 21, Ben is, uh, did you find, because of his background, the fact that he, you know, is from Australia, has played internationally and, and you know, has, a, was he a different type of young player? Was he more mature, as mature in the regular? one and done in college, how, how would you, what was your impression of that? I think he's mature. I think, uh, you know, he's young and we're all, you know, his team is young generally. So I think including myself, we all have to continue to mature and continue to get better daily. So it's not just him. I think it's myself, Joel, everybody on this team. We just got to continue to mature and, you know, with maturity, I think everybody will see growth. So. As it's not just Ben. I think all of us have to continue doing that. Now that you've had some time to become more familiar with Ben and what is expected of his game, what is it in your game that you feel will best complement him on the court? I think probably shooting um, will complement him, helping him with ball handling uh, responsibilities, and just showing him. I think that's the biggest thing, having someone out there that can 
you know, kind of help him move forward uh, faster and quicker, not only for himself but for the team standpoint, will be uh, beneficial. Having been with Milwaukee when some of their younger players kind of matured as NBA players, can you draw any parallels to maybe what, and, and seeing their improvement this year, can you draw any parallels to what's here and maybe what you can learn from that experience to take forward? It's, it's tough to, you know, draw parallels to that. It's a totally different team, totally different mindset, totally different. It's just different. Um, I think every organization in the league, that's what kind of differentiates them. Um, they have values, they have goals, and they have different players that set the tone of what direction they want to move in. And uh, to draw that parallel, I think, would be kind of difficult. You mentioned Ben was mature, but did you in talking with him, did you ever notice that not being able to play a part and take a toll on him? Or how, how did his spirit seem throughout the year? I think his spirit was always great. Um, I think it was tough at times, obviously. It was tough for me. It was tough for everybody that, you know, had injuries this year. Um, but it's part of it. It's part of this business. It's part of this game. And uh, you just have to move forward.